Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here. This is going to be part one of my mobile GRMRS DIY uh, two-way radio antenna. How to make a one um, that hopefully it's going to work really well. Um, I'm going to be testing quarter wave. I'm going to be testing half wave, five-eighths wave, three-quarter wave, uh, full wave. And we're gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive out to a distance you know, away from the repeater. I'm gonna switch out antennas, and we're gonna see what the S meter says for a reading. And we're gonna also check the sound quality. But this video, I'm gonna show you how I'm making these. Um, I made a little test jig to help hold the antenna while I braise it, and we'll talk about you know how 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 you can do this. Um, what I did was is I, f I figured out on my magnet mount antenna when you unscrew the antenna the coupler and the size that I need for mine was an M6 by a 1 a point, 1 point 1.0 pitch so I took a piece of steel I drilled a hole in it and I put a bolt through there and a nut and what this is going to do this is going to do two things it's going to set the depth that the steel rod can only go to because we don't want the steel rod going all the way through the, the, the coupler or you're not going to be able to screw it on. So, so this this holds it and it's a depth gauge. So when I screw on my my coupler, okay, just snug up with my finger, I take this steel rod and I take my fancy little magnetic clamp here and then it holds it. And I get all of it straight, eyed up straight, then I braze it. Now, brazing uh, might be something that you might not be able to do because you got to have a torch for that. Uh, but you could use solder. But I'm going to tell you now, you're going to have to really rough it up. You're going to need to rough up your steel rod. This is an eighth inch diameter steel rod. Got from my hardware store. You're going to need to rough up this really well. Then you're going to have to take like a Dremel tool and on the side that you're not going to be screwing it onto the um, on the magnet mount, you're going to have to rough up in there. Then I then I suggest use map gas, not propane. Map gas, it's hotter. So use map gas. You're going to need some rosin core flux, solder, along with probably some extra flux to really get in there. But you could probably solder if you have enough heat. It's going to take a lot of heat. I might just use my brazing torch, which is, you probably can't see that, but it's got the gold color. That's brazing. So that's how I'm doing it. And then I cut these to the length that I need. And I've been noticing that the length, it's been a little bit shorter than what the calculations end up being, according to my SWRs. I'm tuning this with an analyzer, a nano VNA. But I'm thinking the reason why my length is a little bit shorter, I think this coupler is acting uh, maybe like a you know maybe some type of, of a capacitor or something and that's why the length of my rod ends up being a little bit less than what the calculation is not a big deal we're still fairly close I'm gonna be shooting for about a 1.3 SWRs what I'm gonna be trying for I got the quarter wave done and I got the three-quarter wave done I believe now I want to show you the pattern that I'm hoping that I'm going to be getting here. I'll post a link to this um, website here. But if you look at this, this is the pattern that the like the quarter wave does. Now you can see here 180 degrees, 150, how it kind of shoots off to the side. Now this pattern is, I believe, based on a antenna 20 feet off in up in the air, and it's going to have ground plane rods, uh, and it's going to be uh, that type of antenna. So the pattern might be a little different mounting on, on, on a car, but we'll find out when I do the distance test. So if you look at this, here's quarter wave. You can see half wave. You can see five eighths wave starting to shoot kind of high, and then three quarter wave. I'm thinking, just by looking at the pattern, I'm thinking th three quarter inch wave is going to be really good because let's say this trees here. Let's see, there's a tree here. This is going to shoot more above the tree than this antenna or this pattern is going to be. Or even for that matter, this one. So I think the three-quarter wave is going to be really good. Three-quarter wave and half wave. This one's more 
Well, this one shoots, shoots up higher. So, you know, it's going to be interesting. Now, how, how am I going to do this? I'm going to drive out to a location, probably that boat landing. That's about 3.9 miles away as the crow flies. I'll park the vehicle. And I will screw on the first antenna, recheck the SWRs. We're going to use an S meter on the radio. And we're going to have a sound quality check along with that. I'll have my simplex repeater running. I'll do a radio check and the microphone. We'll hear it be played back. So we'll hear how it sounds. And then we're going to see on the S meter what how many bars I'm getting. So that's how we're going to do this. That's going to be part two. But uh, this is how I'm making these antennas. Um, this test jig really is nice to help hold things as I um, braise it. So, at any rate, there you have it. Um, I'll post a link to this pattern uh, um, site in the description below. But, you know, like I say, this pattern might be a little different if being on a mobile car, but it's going to be interesting. There you have it. Any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe. Thank you, and have a good day.